working still the greatest oh, this is a very funny question <laughs> still i thought of coining it up confucius said you are what you think that means if you start thinking and uh, thinking is so powerful everybody knows in the whole world that the mind controls the body especially the yoga gurus and the yoga maharishis have taught people in centuries if you can control your mind you are the master when the mind controls you you become the slave when you control the mind you are healthy when the mind controls you you are sick diseased you lose the resistance power when you control the mind you lead when you allow the mind to control you you yield to pressure tactics then you become a master kind of a growth you disappear very fast hari bari gus bari confucius said you are what you think and in the thinking if you think i am you are in deep in love with your wife or husband or your father or mother or your children then you will do anything and everything for them nobody in the whole world can come in between and disturb you think about it it's possible they say choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life nobody works when they are not in love with that job then they feel it is him say it is torturing those people are trying to squeeze something out from me you are what you think confucius said karma yoga in the indian philosophy of the yoga we have a chapter called karma yoga that means you do a job with full of love like the top most business people political leaders come to ashrams like us we thought even disclosing their identity and they coming here they enter into the book they rush up one group will rush up to the toilet they clean the toilet one group will pray to the god that they go to the ashram and clean the ashram floors or cook the food yes. and that is out of love they are not feeling that they are toilet cleaners or their workers they are coming to do seva with love and if that is understood by the man and the woman that their love is not a job then they are not at all working mechanically they are only meeting like the when the disciple questioned the master after 12 years you have not taught me anything and the zen master said uh, when i was walking were you conscious did you observe how i was walking and the disciple said no master he said i was never walking i was floating the husband and wife is never talking to each other they are not making love they are just melting melt to become one and they disappear to become a nobody in that nobody they become a somebody yes. they become my love when you gave me coffee every day have you watched how i have taken and the disciple said no master i took it with so much of love yes the coffee was this melting into my hand i never drank it abs- the body absorbed it yes. confucius said you are what you think yes choose but whatever you choose you should love it and once you love it the whole world loves you so yesterday somebody came and told me rakum swami rakum ji is a great lover of our language of our country he loves our country he loves our 
state. I said, no, 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 I don't love you. I don't love the state. I don't love the country. They were shocked. <laughs> I said, I don't know. Because I was thrown out from my house. I was not loved by anybody. Why should I love anybody? When he came out in the street, I knew I have whatever work I did it, I kept on doing with full of love and the whole world loved me. That's <laughs> just, just love it and the whole world. You don't have to love anybody. Just love the work and the whole world loves you. Confucius said, you are what you think. Think! Yes, you are healthy and you are healthy. Cancer or AIDS or heart attack people also. Yes. You just think you didn't have a heart attack. Your heart is very strong. Then you go deeper and deeper and you study. You become a scuba diver. You know anything and everything. The pipelines are blocked. You have to clean up the pipelines. You do not have to touch any oily food. And you have to eat fruits before your meals. You have to do exercise. You have to sweat it out. That it goes deep. And it you see the smoke. You don't get frightened because you, are, you started to see the fire. You wanted to uh, match, put the fire. Until you get the fire, you don't stop it. And you got the fire. You are what you 